Hello, Set Apart Saints. This is David. And I was reluctant to make another video about the Euphrates River drying up. But in this short video, I'm going to continue talking about people's explanations because this is a huge teaching opportunity. Many people are proclaiming that this is the fulfillment of the Sixth Bowl of Revelation. But that seems out of sequence with their futuristic explanations of prophecy fulfillment, as it implies that the previous seals, trumpets, and bowls have already been fulfilled. In this video, I'm going to go through the great points that a woman named Faith declares in her response to Joe Kirby's video called, This is Why Everyone is Googling Euphrates River. Her channel is called How to Faith a Life. The video name is Why Everyone's Googling the Euphrates River, Off the Curb Ministries in Revelation, so that you can watch her video. My Euphrates River Just Broke the Internet video review shows that Joe Kirby's explanations don't make chronological sense, and Faith emphasizes that point. So when you're searching for that video, here's the screenshot. This is what it'll look like. You'll see Joe Kirby, and you'll see Faith. In the video, Faith asks, is proclaiming that the Euphrates River drying up is the fulfillment of the sixth bowl being faithful to the Bible. Her question is implying that the answer is no, and I agree. Because people believe that most of the prophecies in Revelation are fulfilled in the end times, they're always looking at events in the world and trying to make them fit into Revelation. They're proclaiming that the sixth bowl is being fulfilled today, but most don't believe that the previous seals, trumpets, and bowls have been fulfilled yet, so their declaration doesn't make any sense. But hopefully, it's stirring up their minds to do more research about the fulfillment of prophecy. In the video, Faith says, Revelation is apocalyptic literature. This type of literature is written so that we don't do what we're doing here. I totally agree. Messiah didn't write Revelation as a literal narrative. He uses symbols, which are defined in the Old Testament, to point to a physical fulfillment, which is very different than the plain, literal explanation. Revelation is designed to give the message to those who study the whole word, and hide it from those who don't. In the Old Testament, we see examples of the symbols which Messiah uses in Revelation, such as the sun, moon, and stars being darkened, which points to a leadership system losing power. It's not about the literal sun. We see that locusts in the Old Testament point to the Saracens, to the Arabs, so that in the fifth trumpet we're not looking for literal locusts to attack, but to the rise of Islam, which came from the bottomless pit of Satan's lies, which has hidden the gospel of the Son of Righteousness from billions of Arabs' eyes. It's pointing to the Mohammedan armies, which have conquered territories and killed many people. And I go through these symbols in the Revelation Timeline Decoded video series. In the video, Faith says, you're not supposed to go into prophecy trying to put together clues to predict the future. That comes from the desire to control, to know the future, to be our own God. Though I understand that people try to figure out Bible prophecy for selfish reasons, so that they can proclaim that they're right and others are wrong, and that can lead to pride, I think that her statement is misguided. Messiah gave his saints the vision so that we can understand what's already been fulfilled so that we can see where we're at on the fulfillment timeline, so that we know what's left to be fulfilled, so that we're not deceived by the enemy, and so that we're prepared for Messiah's return. Sadly, both Faith and Joe Kirby don't seem to understand that most of the prophecies in Revelation have already been fulfilled during the last 1900 years, and that there's not much left to be fulfilled before Messiah returns. It's more important now than ever to know the past to understand our current situation. And I understand that we've been taught that most of the prophecies in Revelation are fulfilled during the last few years, and that what I'm saying seems to be crazy. But it's only during the last few centuries that the saints have believed in the futuristic explanations of Revelation. Before that, the saints believed that Revelation has been in the process of being fulfilled since it was written, and that Messiah foretold events that the saints would face from the first century until his return. And that's exactly what Messiah proclaimed in the first verse of Revelation. It says, The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And in the third verse, he says, For the time is at hand. So Revelation gives the narrative of the historical battle between the Satan-empowered leaders of the Roman beast kingdom fighting against Messiah and his saints. It's the narrative of the great city of Rome making war against the saints who are called Holy Jerusalem. In the video, Faith says John wrote the book of Revelation to give us hope, 
knowing that Jesus is God and that he comes out on top. Revelation is certainly a book of hope, but faith is missing the bigger picture. When you see how most of the prophecies have been fulfilled in exacting detail during the last 1900 years, then you comprehend more of the glory of Messiah who foretold the events, which gives you hope. You see tangible evidence for your faith, validation of the Bible, and validation of the deity of Messiah. Then you have a way to show the world that the Bible is true, to help them come into a covenant relationship with the Father through His beloved Son who came to die for our sins. Understanding the fulfillment of Revelation shows you who the enemy of Messiah and His saints are, so that you can wage war against the enemy, to expose their deceptions, to set the captives free, for a glorious harvest of souls in the end times. Not understanding the fulfillment of Revelation renders the end times church ineffective. In the video, Faith says that the Off the Curb Ministries videos about the drying up of the Euphrates River do not give a single ounce of context about this one verse in Revelation 16.12. I totally agree. Context is everything. In the Revelation Timeline Decoded video series, I provide a verse-by-verse -verse explanation with historical validation to show the proper context of the Sixth Vile Judgment. The Sixth Vile Judgment is directly related to the Sixth Trumpet Judgment. I cover this in detail in my video, but the summary is that the Sixth Trumpet points to the Turks being released from the Euphrates River to conquer the eastern third of the Roman Empire for 391 years from 1062 to 1453. They used gunpowder muskets, so fire, smoke, and brimstone appeared at their horses' mouths. They used large cannons, some with the faces of lions on them, to knock down the thick protective walls of Constantinople to capture it in 1453. The Turks renamed Constantinople Istanbul, and the Turks grew into the mighty Ottoman Empire, which controlled a vast amount of territory. The Sixth Vile Judgment is pointing to the drying up of the Ottoman Empire, not to the literal river drying up. You can read history resources, and you'll see that during the 17th through 19th centuries, the Ottoman Empire lost control of most of the land that they controlled, except for the country of Turkey, which amazingly is the source of the Euphrates River. In the video, Faye says, if we say that this is the fulfillment of the sixth vial, we're assuming that this is chronological, and the stuff that's before this in the book of Revelation has already happened. This is the point that I made in my review of Joe Kirby's video. Most people believe in the futuristic fulfillment of the seal, trumpet, and bull judgments in an end-time seven-year tribulation period. So to see them post that the Euphrates River drying up is the fulfillment of prophecy is chronologically inconsistent. The false futuristic narrative is being exposed by this literal event. I pray that it makes people question their understanding so that they do more research. And that's exactly why I'm making these videos. It's not to condemn Joe Kirby or Faith for not understanding the fulfillment of Revelation. It's to use a teaching opportunity to help people see the glorious truth of prophecy fulfillment so they see more of the glory of their Messiah. And I don't proclaim to know it all or be right about everything but I prove out the historical fulfillment of most of the prophecies in Revelation in my video series. And you can request a free PDF copy of my Revelation Timeline Decoded book summary on the homepage of the website, and I'll include a link to it in the video description. In the video, Faye says, we're assuming that this is very literal and that it's not just a metaphor to explain something a lot more dynamic. Totally agree. It is much more dynamic, as in Revelation, Messiah foretold major events that have taken place in world history. In the Revelation Timeline Decoded study series, I have a video called Messiah Foretold These World Events in His Revelation, which shows you a long list of events that were foretold by Messiah which have taken place during the last 1900 years. In the video, Faye says, I need you to tell me what those bulls in Revelation 16 are. I totally agree that anyone who is proclaiming that the drying up of the Euphrates River is the fulfillment of the sixth bowl needs to explain the fulfillment of the five bowls that precede it. I pray that you will watch the videos in the Revelation series to see the fulfillment of the previous five bowls so you understand the proper context. Let's pray for Joe Kirby and Faith to come to understand these glorious truths that the enemy has worked so hard to hide so that they can use their platform to expose the deceptions of the enemy. I pray that this video is a wake-up call to help you see the truth of prophecy fulfillment so that you're not misled by the false futuristic explanations. I'll include a link to the Sixth Trumpet and Sixth Vial videos so that you can get the complete explanation. If this video helped you, please click on the YouTube thumbs up, 
post a comment and share it with others and subscribe to the channel to be notified about new videos. Keep learning and growing in the way to be an overcomer. I love y'all. Shalom.